Hey Super Fans and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking part in the Mystery Box Challenge. This collab is so much fun. A lot of my DIY friends here on YouTube uh, kind of swap names and send each other boxes. This is hosted by Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. And in this video, I got my box from Yami, the Latina next door. So I'll link her video down below. And then I sent the box I created to Shannon at the Daily DIYer. I'll also put her video down below as well as a huge playlist that you can circle around and see everyone's DIYs because there is a lot of people taking place in this collab. So the point of the mystery box challenge is to fill this with 7 to 10 Dollar Tree items and ship these to each other and kind of challenge ourselves to craft with these surprise items but there's two challenge items and they're usually like a lot harder than the other items so you have to be really creative and try to think of some fun uses for these this challenge had a spin so this mystery box's spin was you have to use both challenge items so both items in one project so it might be a little bit tricky especially if both of them are harder because sometimes it's hard just to use one of those items but let's go ahead and see what's inside i was super nice to shannon i tried not to send anything crazy i know she was going out of town didn't have a lot of time to film it but i still sent her a couple of curveballs so excited to see how that turned out so go check out hers but now I'm opening mine from Yami. She says, hey, Caitlin, I know you're going to knock this out of the park. The two challenge items should work together. Can't wait to see what you make. Opening this up, I already see an Easter sign. So that is easy peasy to go ahead and craft with. I love these signs. I've actually used this a couple times this year, but I definitely can do another project with it. Oh, she sent me the metal ribbon. I just bought some of this at Dollar Tree. If you can find this, grab a couple of rolls. It looks so fun. It is actually like real metal. I don't know if it's tin or aluminum or what. It feels real metal, but it is some really cool ribbon. She also sent me some of the new mesh ribbon that looks really fun to use. I found this on my Dollar Tree road trip. And then a lot of flowers and succulent picks. And then also a jar as well as some butterfly stickers and a little house. So these should be fairly easy to use. I used to take like 15 minutes opening my box, so that's why I'm kind of speeding through and getting to the good part. Okay, now it's time to open these challenge items. So these are supposed to be a little bit more tricky. It feels like paper straws, I bet, or pencils. Oh, I was right. It is definitely paper straws, but these are in a really pretty teal color and gold so I can do something with that especially if I think more towards summer DIYs but what does she mean by something that could go with it <laughs> okay so not too bad not too bad this is a beach hat this is from the juncture brand I love this brand and this actually would look like really cute with this shirt that I have on so these are like fun <laughs> fun hats but thank you so much, Yami. I'll put her channel on video down below, but click the playlist after you watch this video. It will loop you around and you'll get to see everyone's video. It is such a fun collab. Everyone gets all stumped and nervous and then like everybody's DIYs turns out so good. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and let's go ahead and get on into crafting. Okay, so these are the items I picked out to try to DIY with first, and I thought it would be super simple to put the flowers in the jar, so I tried not to do that. I'm going to try to think outside of the box a little bit, but I will say I had been so sick all week before this video, so I didn't have a lot of time to work on the projects. But, um, so bear with me and don't judge too hard, but for this one, I did pull the circle off of the stake. Now, I had used this little sign before from Dollar Tree, but I just kind of put it in a little potted plant, and it looked really, really cute, but I wanted to try to do something a little bit different. So, I started by removing the little stake off the bottom, painting this with a steel color gray, and then adding some beads at the bottom to make this actually stand up. Thank you. 
You can also see that I had put a lot of beads in the middle just so it had, um, so it could hold the weight of the jar and then glued everything down. I didn't want to paint the jar because I wanted to put some rocks in there so left that as clear as it was. And then instead of putting the flowers inside the jar like I mentioned, I thought it would be fun to put them around the jar um, and then I was debating on putting like a solar light or something inside of this jar but I try to be a little bit more creative and I'll show you what I do with it. But just um, using the greenery as well as the flowers that Yami sent and gluing it all the way around. This is the fun thing about these mystery boxes though. Like I wouldn't have ever like picked up blue flowers. I just usually go for more like my favorite flowers. So it's just fun adding that pop of color. And I decided to kind of make some of these projects or most of these projects for like my outdoor space. So that's kind of what I was thinking if I put in like a solar light or some type of a candle that would look really cute setting on like a side table. Now I found these like flower solar lights at Dollar Tree and I thought they were really neat. So I thought it would be fun to use the jar to put in these solar lights. I did have to trim the bottoms down a little bit so that they would fit better, but there wasn't any wiring or anything in the stem. Most of that was in the flower, but just stuck these down inside the rocks. If you wanted a different look, you actually could pull the top off one of these and just stick it down inside the jar. You could even attach this with some hot glue, but then you could have like a smaller look, but I do like the bouquet myself. So let me know in the comments down below if you like the full bouquet or you just like one of the solar lights better. Okay, next up, I wanted to go ahead and dive on into these challenge items. Now, the thing was you had to use both of these together. So I was really stumped on this. And mind you, I am very sick when filming this. So um, I didn't get to put a ton of effort into it. I wish I would have gotten to take longer. But I have seen people like take this, these hats apart um, and actually like wrap candle votives and stuff. And it looks so gorgeous. But I thought it would be fun since I am making some patio decor with these items to actually actually like make this a planter. So this actually turned out way better than I thought. I actually looked on Pinterest and I couldn't find many sun hat planters because I was trying to find some inspiration. So I ended up just kind of just going with the flow and making my own. So I tied this hat super tight around a faux plant that I had. This is just a target plant, but I needed a way to incorporate those straws. So I thought maybe I would cut them down and hang them as little charms from the edges of this hat. And I didn't really Really like that idea so I knew you couldn't go wrong making some type of little garland or beaded decor so I ended up beading these little straws with some wooden beads on some jute twine wrapping this around the hat and it actually turned out a lot better than I imagined it's super super cute and just kind of fun little whimsical piece that you can set out like in a patio area or somewhere that you want to dress up for summer Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you would have done with a sun hat. Um, so many things was going through my head, like I mentioned, tearing it apart. But since I just wasn't feeling well, I didn't want to risk messing the hat up and not being able to replace it. So I ended up just putting the plant in there, but it turned out really, really cute. And I feel like it is really whimsical and fun. And I just think it's really cute. I was a little bit nervous for this metal ribbon. Now I have purchased this before, but I hadn't used it before, so I wasn't I wasn't sure if it would work with hot glue, but it actually worked a lot better than I thought. So I knew I needed something to attach it to, so I am using one of these wooden crates, and I thought it'd be fun to not only wrap it around, but actually use it as a handle. I decided to go ahead and paint this black. I felt like black would look really chic with the metal versus like a colorful color, but I was wanting to use some of the succulents that she sent me. So I ended up painting this entire thing black, letting it completely dry, and then trying to hot glue the metal on there. And it actually worked a lot better than I thought. I didn't know if the hot glue would work at all, 
but um, obviously I would take the time to kind of put a staple in it or something if you had that option or use something a little bit stronger but for now I will say the hot glue is holding on there really tight but it also helps that I'm wrapping this as tight as I can around the crate. You do have to be really careful when you are applying this. You don't want to burn your fingers. I always like to dip my fingers in water and kind of cool the hot glue. Um, so you can do that when, before you touch it or use some type of like little finger protectors that like Dollar Tree sells. So be careful when you are doing that. But I'm just trying to get it as tight as I can and making the corners like really tight. So this is going to stay put. Wanting to set this outside, I did want it to be super heavy and not blow around, so I did fill it up with some of the Dollar Tree rocks before adding in the succulents, but I love the look that it gives, and I feel like it looks so cute. Obviously, I'm not going to pack it around with that handle. I'm just using it as a little decorative touch, and then sticking the little succulents down in there. This looks so adorable and perfect for a patio. And then a couple of things that were left over in the box, I had this metal house and a succulent. So I just thought it would be cute to try to put the succulent in that hole of the cutout house. So I started by painting it with some white chalk paint, really roughed it up before gluing the succulent down in place. And this would just be a fun way to display your succulents, your little faux succulents from Dollar Tree. I thought it would be fun to use some different colored ones, maybe make the houses a couple of different colors, but you could do so many things with this or even line them up to look like, I don't know, a little display of succulents, but this was really cute. I did scratch off the roof so it had a little bit of definition, but you also could have added in a chimney. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to go check out the playlist down below and see all of my DIY friends crafting their best with these crazy items. But it's always a really fun like video to get together on. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.